Okay, I apologize for those who tried watching the live stream about this. The internet connection was not uh, being in our favor. So we're going to be doing it the old-fashioned way. We're going to be doing a uh, lower quality cell phone video. So and that's simply because my Nikon is on the charger currently getting ready for whatever day I go to the railroad next. So let's get right to it. We've got our CJ Anderson terminal call station here and we're going to be doing something different with it today as you can see it's currently propped up against my simplex 4001 panel which got powered up today for the first time in about a year and as you can see behind this there's a hole in the display port where there used to be another pole station which is on the floor currently the plan is to wire this up to the fire alarm panel and see if we can set off the fire alarm with well an elevator button. As you can see, I am very well scripted and ready for this video. So just a quick little insight for those who've never seen the inside of a pull station like the Simplex T before, is that these are basically nothing more than a button inside of them. So they would basically work the same way that these do. And I've actually had this little button it came out of an abandoned building hooked up before. And that set it off with no problem, which was ironic because it it's actually labeled alarm silence, but it did the opposite. So we're going to do this with the, with the call station, which should be pretty simple. This is the circuit for that particular pole station, which I have hooked up to zone 2 on the panel. And all I have to do is run those through the contacts of the button here. And it should only take a couple seconds. So let me hook this up. And I'll be right back. So this is now all put together and ready to go. This should fit in the little hole here on the display board. So I'm going to see if I can't get this set back in. Then we'll give it a test. Okay, so I went ahead and wired it up. And actually, this fits in here pretty well. I just put a little screw in it just to hold it in place. It might actually stay here for a while because it sits here pretty nicely. So we're going to power up. The 4001. And there's our troubles and the zones, however, they're sitting the way they should. So we should actually be okay to give this a test. Let me turn my work light back on so we can see what we're doing. And I'll open this so that we can disable the system when and if it goes off. Use the inside if you haven't seen this in a while. Now just for a little control test here, and actually let me, I'm actually going to turn the work light off so we can see the indications. So as a little control test, we're going to set it off with the simplex first. And there it goes. Go ahead and reset this. And we can reset the system. I am wearing uh, ear protection. And now, for the moment of truth. And there we have it. We have set off a fire alarm with an elevator button. Now can you imagine that you're walking into a building, you're walking along and you're gonna go take the elevator up. So you walk up and you push the button. And you set the alarm off. Well, it's neat that we can do it. Thanks for watching. And for now, that'll be it.